Hi guys, it's Sam here at the Pink Elephant Parlor. Back again this week to remind you and show you uh, the stuff we're going to have in the sale this Sunday, March the 7th at 3 p.m. Central Time. We are going to have uh, linens, pottery, a head vase. We have some deer, uh, Easter, fairy lamp, owls. Uh, got a couple more of the Vera uh, scarves. Oh, just a medley of stuff. So, um... I'm going to show you everything and um, hope you like. I hope you like what I picked out this week. So I'm going to turn the camera around and me and mom are going to show you everything we got. Just a minute. All right, here we go. We will start over here. This is some of the linens. This is a hexagon shaped. Um, table cover. It's really nice. About the same size as the one we sold last week. I haven't got to measure it yet, but I want to say it's probably right around 30 inches across, but it's, it is hexagon shaped. I have some of the white doilies there. I um, thought I'd sell the white ones. They all three, there's three of them. They all match and you can dye them any color you want. And then we, we got to go right on across here. There's mom back there. Uh, <laughs> And you've got some of the crochet pillowcases. I have a, I have two of those and two like that there. And they're really pretty. So we'll have all those available. Okay, and we'll come right on down here. We got some planters there, a boat, and some owls. We got some brass um, owl book ends. Got a really neat tin of an old stagecoach and horses there. Just a lot of neat things. There's a, some cased glass. I'm, I'm in the process of looking a little bit more information up on that. I, I can't remember the name of it. I know it begins with a K and um, I'll have to look that up. I, I can't process it right now. And then we got a little basket. You'll get everything there in the basket. The eggs, the chick, the rabbit, the little card, and the eggs. And then there's a vintage hanky in there too. And you can just take all the stuff in the basket or the basket and all the stuff. We'll leave that up to you. Got a set of the, the green um, swans, I believe, there. They're really nice and it is haul. It's in really good condition. Got a little glass basket that would look cute with some little um, jelly beans in it or something like that for Easter. And then you got the Avon little perfume cat there. Little hobnail opal essent bowl. Some cats and rabbits and fish. <clears throat> and then we got some birds there. Some ceramic birds, a glass bird, and then that uh, one on the end, the blue bird there, is the Joseph original bird. Then we're gonna have some uh, older linens. And this piece here, now this is just pieces of fabric um, that'll be available. Not not real big pieces, but I thought they would look neat if you did the assemblages or whatever and wanted to use them as a backing. And there's a, a piece of the deer and then the little um, lambs and then there's I think there's also ducks and rabbits on it as well. It's a neat little piece. And then I'm going to uh, have all of these in one lot in some vintage um, hand-pieced quilt blocks. They're made out of the old feed sack. Got a couple of the old gingham and it's got the um, flocked flowers and butterflies on the blue. And it's a nice piece. It's just quite a bit there. And then I also have the um, sort of a reddish pink um, gingham with the uh, tulips on it. And it is also flocked. The flowers are flocked. And then some old um, stitch work that someone has started or done. And you know, there are some stains on it, just some old pieces. They would look really neat uh, framed and put in a, an Easter display. I believe these are all different rabbits. 
And this one is completed. I love the little the little rabbit up in the up in the corner. It looks like she's mopping or something. And then there's this one. Like I said, they didn't do the little test rabbit up at the top there. But it would give you, you know, if you wanted to finish it, you could. And around the edges, it needs to be finished. And then this one here, it, it's one that needs to be totally done. But it's really, they're really, really neat pieces. And they'll be sold, I believe, probably together unless someone requests it to be, you know, separated or whatever. And we can, we can do what, however you want to do it. And then these here are like little handkerchiefs. And some of them have the days of the week. And they're not, they're not the dishcloths, but they are to be ready to be stitched. It's all printed out for you. Um, so there's, there's a few pieces of that there. And like I said, that will all be available at the sale on Sunday, the 7th, at 3 p.m. Central Time. Let me get all these laying back up here so I can show you the next things. And then I have, this is um, Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. And it is the mobile, and you have the different dogs that was in the movie that goes in the mo on the mobile. They're they're in okay condition, you know. There are some issues, a little tail there on that one. Um, there's the lady, and that's the tramp. Um, you got the little wiener dog. Now he is his tail is broke um, right here, but I do have it. It is in the bag. And then you got the little Scotty dog there. And you have the doghouse, and I believe the doghouse is the top of the um, mobile, and then all the dogs hang from it. And this is the um, 1955 Walt Disney Productions, and that is on both sides. So that'll all be available, and then there's some other extra little cutout pieces that was in the bag with them, some paper ephemera that I'll sell it all together. And then we'll move that out of the way. I've sort of got things sort of layered here. We will have some uh, really neat, this um, scarf here is a Japan made scarf. So is this uh, pink one here. These will be available. And um, I was trying to see, I know there was a, a tag on them and I can't remember if they're silk or not. No, they are rayon, that, this says. Rayon, both of them have the same thing on it, but they're, they're really pretty. And then they're really pretty green one here in yellow. I'm not sure the name on that one. We'll have to look that up. And then um, we have a Vera, and it is the, um, the browns and the orange, the rust colors. Really pretty, uh, sort of geometric-y like piece. And then this one here, this one here is an older Vera. It actually has the, the ladybug on the bottom of it. And it's the blue and red polka dots, and they're in a, the red polka dots are in a circle on the, on the um, middle of it there. And hopefully I'm not making you too drunk here, moving around. And these are your little babies right here. Get down here a little lower so you can see them. They're not very big. They're only about an inch or so. But they are the, um, still have the tags on them. They are the March um, little birth porcelain pieces. And um, this is the pet one. And this is the baby's one. And it also has its tag as well. And if anyone is interested, I do have the whole set of the months of the babies and I have the whole sets of the months of the little pets too. And then we have these little wiener dogs here, you know, for your little trinket, um, those little trinket boxes that you put things in. Really cute little, little wiener dogs. Let me see if I can get that to set back up. It's hard to set up on that tablecloth. Then I got this crazy looking, I think it's a cat and it's got the fur. He's really cute. Let's see if I can get him to show up a little better for you. He is missing his whiskers on one side. And I don't really know. He looks like he had a tag on him at one time. He's a cutie. And I got a few buttons here. Let's see if I can come back up here for you. 
got some red ones and these are all vintage like big size coat buttons or sweater buttons there will be um, this is I, I want to say there's five or something like that in each one of the packages of the vintage um, Easter postcards there is a pixie there set of uh, abalone ab I can't even say that word I'm so sorry couldn't say it last night at my jewelry sale either um, but set of salt and paper shakers there made out of shell got a couple old pieces here that I think they're really neat to decorate with I believe these are old rug needles when you um, when they were made when they made rugs got the needles on the front and the shuttles that slide back and forth there also got a really neat bluebird he's not marked and he's pretty good size. I'd say he's about four inches, three or four inches tall, and about uh, four, four and a half inches long. And then we have a really, really nice lady's head vase here. She's she's really pretty. She's in excellent condition. I didn't see any cracks or chips or anything like that on her. And then we have uh, this. Um, just uh, gracious, uranium glass and we're gonna make it glow for you if we can get it to show up it does glow rather nicely it's really really pretty okay mom's gonna turn the lights back on and in the center it does have the cherries and it looks like cherry blossoms all around the edges and everything it has a couple of little flea bites but nothing major it's really, really pretty. And then right behind it, we have the Tanala bird there. And this is not the bird I was talking about last week's sale. This is not the um, Phoenix. The Phoenix is way larger than this one, but this is another piece of Tanala that I had. And then right behind it, we have some of the sort of, I don't know, I guess you call it mid-century modern looking um, pieces. It is the deer with the matching um, bud vase that go on each side of it and they have the little uh, pine cones there as you see on the bottom really really neat set they'll be sold all together in one piece as uh, you know one set we got another little Tanala vase back there and then we have a amber fairy lamp mom's gonna shut the lights down there you go it's really pretty too it's a nice one it's in really good condition and then um, we have this pineapple here. It's a brass pineapple. And it is like a little um, dish. You take the lid off the top. It's a really cool, cool piece there. And then the little wooden boy standing there. He is actually an old, um, like one part. He's an actually an old pencil or crayon um, holder that children used many oh, years ago. This is a really cool, cool piece. I didn't know if anybody else liked wooden pieces like this from, you know, ages ago. I do, I think they're really cool and nice in a display. A lot of them don't make it, the wooden pieces. And then we got another really cute deer planter there in the back and it's yellow with the mauve. Do you know what that one was marked? Was it marked on the bottom? It's USA. USA, I believe. Mom says we're not. We'll pick that up and turn it upside here, Mom, first, so we can see. Yeah, it's USA. Hold it down. Yeah, right there. USA on the bottom of it. It's in really good condition as well. And we got a. Oh, what kind Dalmatian. of dog? A Dalmatian. A Dalmatian. And he is wearing like a conductor's hat. He's really, really cute. Got a couple of rabbits there for Easter. Really nice little cup and saucer with your uh, Lily of the Valleys on it. Got a pixie planter there. Little lady with a basket of flowers and her poodles. 
Uh, the poodles do have some, um, you know, the little flowers on top of their head have some chips on them. And then, I don't know if y'all remember these or not, but these are awesome. These are those little puppet, and you push the bottom and they collapse and stand back up. I got a couple of those. The one with the poodle, and then I think this is Dancer, Dancer the dog, they call him. And he, and he collapses and comes back up. He's really fun, little fun little pieces. Got a little rabbit here that is, the cotton comes out his rear, his little tail. Got um, some rabbit, or uh, kittens, some mice, a little blue-faced dog. I don't know why he's blue-faced, but he is. Really neat uh, cigarette ashtray um, piece here. It is all green glass, and the knob is a uh, um, acorn. But I, I really thought that was a neat, neat piece. It does have a little weight to it, but not not real bad, not bad at all. And then the little ashtrays that uh, match. I think one of them may have one little small uh, flea bite on the corner of the bottom of it, but that's that's all I found on on those. And and you know the big piece may have one or something, nothing major. Nothing major. And then I've got this little magpie um, figurine right here, which I think is really, really neat. I have never seen one of these. Uh, it is not um, your like pie bird or anything like that. It is just a figurine, and it's what I would call a magpie. Okay, I'm trying to think if I missed showing you or telling you anything. Um, I don't think so. This is a lot of the items that we will have in the sale. If I find something extra, there could be some surprise pieces. Always like throwing in a surprise piece here and there. My sales are on Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Time. So this Sunday, March the 7th, we will have all of these items available at our sale. Let me get my flashlight out of the way there. All of these items will be available at our sale. Hope you come enjoy and, and join me and mom. We'll be happy to have you all. Alright guys, this is everything. Let me get one more close up of that. I'll tell you what, that, that head base is beautiful. So we'll see you Sunday at 3 o'clock, guys. Thank you.